politicians. Do you recognize this town? Because you should. You came here to sign an agreement which committed everyone to the new democratic institutions and reaffirmed the power sharing government. It was the St Andrews Agreement. And that was 10 years ago. And the institutions still don't work. And you still don't really try to make them work. In the 10 years since that agreement, you've just been happy with a state of constant crisis with the entire thing almost coming crashing down every 9 months, which allows you to get away with not actually doing anything to make any of our lives better and just have talks about talks about talks that solve nothing. And I'm angry about that because I want to be proud of the country which I come from. I want to be proud of the Moorn Mountains and Strangford Lock. I want to be proud of the Undertones and Snow Patrol and Tudor. I want to be proud of the Giant's Causeway and the Titanic Quarter and Rory McIlroy's backswing and Kyle Lafferty's right foot. But here in this town at an international university where I sometimes feel like the sole Northern Irish ambassador amongst people who will be influencing the politics and business of the world in 25 years, I have to feel ashamed. I have to be ashamed because I have to tell them when they ask about politics that yes, the abortion laws that we have contravene European human rights legislation, and yes, the country doesn't have a national flag or a national anthem, and yes, the government is collapsing for the fourth time in six years because people can't make a deal about anything. And that shame that I and the other Northern Irish students abroad have to feel is the politician's fault. You are directly causing it. We don't even expect you to be Clement Attlee or John F. Kennedy. We don't expect you to have the great program of reform that'll turn us into a prosperous society overnight, right? We just want you to do your job as members of a legislative assembly. We want you to assemble and we want you to legislate and you can't do that. I'm part of the Good Friday Agreement generation. I do not remember a time before the ceasefires. I do not remember a Northern Ireland that was not at peace with itself. The Good Friday Agreement in and of itself just turned 18. It is old enough that it could vote in this election if it could, right? And the thing about our generation is that your sectarian narratives just don't work as well on us because we only remember peace and what we want out of peace is a functioning government. As my generation grows up, Northern Ireland is going to change. It's going to become less orange and green and more demanding of a political discourse that is not about us and themans, but is actually about policy issues that make a difference in everyday people's lives. And as Northern Ireland changes, you're going to have to be part of that. You're going to have to change and you're going to have to get better. And if you don't want to do that, if you just want to be stuck in the narratives of the 20th and the 17th century, then frankly, frankly, we will get rid of you. Northern Ireland has changed and is changing. One of these days, you're going to have to realise that.